Hi. In this post, we're going to look at security metrics to try to answer the question, what is the value of nothing happening? Now, when you think about it, security is really the only functional business area that's seen as successful if nothing happens. Look at other areas. So if HR didn't hire, the business wouldn't grow. If marketing didn't make people interested in the product, no one would buy it. And if sales didn't sell, there'd be no revenue and the company would shut down. But in security, when nothing happens, that's great. That said, how can security leaders quantify the value of nothing happening? In the following post, we look at a couple of different ways that CISOs are trying to quantify value. And in the end, we come up with a kind of a kitchen sink approach. So a few quick highlights of what we've been seeing in some of the conversations on LinkedIn and several other articles that are referenced here in this post. The first is breach-based ROI. And this is the idea that security exists to prevent a breach from occurring. So let's try to determine what the cost of a breach would be, and then we can justify our spend versus what a breach would cost us. A few examples of the cost of a breach come from the 2018 IBM Security and Ponemon Institute Cost of a Data Breach Study. The average cost of a data breach globally is $3.86 million. The cost of what they determine to be mega breaches, which are breaches that lose between a million and 50 million records, cost between $40 million and $350 million, respectively. Now, U.S. companies experience the highest average cost of a breach at $7.91 million. And healthcare organizations have the highest cost among any industry, which is $408 per lost record, which is three times higher than the cross industry average. So that's a really big range. There's a global average of around $4 million, but that can be just half in Brazil or double in the United States. And then if we're talking about a mega breach, we're talking between 40 and $350 million. And even if this were our North Star metric, what does that mean for our security strategy? If we're spending $4.1 million on security, yet the cost of a breach would be $4 million, is that to say we should just ditch our security tools and our team and just take the hit in the cost of a breach? Of course not, that would be ridiculous. But if you only look at breach-based ROI, you could come to that conclusion. Now we have one more example, the rest are in this post, but I, I really enjoyed this one. So this is contribution to top line revenue. Alan Alford is the CISO at Mitel, and he came up with an idea that he posted here on LinkedIn. And it's this idea that you can tie tools and effort to revenue. In short, he's saying that his security team assists with RFPs, and then he goes on to say that each RFP has a monetary value associated, and it'd be easy to add up the dollars from the RFPs, cross-reference them with the tools that satisfy the requirements. And the end result would be something like AV is associated with $1.3 million of potential revenue this quarter, Firewalls are associated with $2.7 million, a GRC tool associated with $0.8 million. You get the idea. And he says, this could be a powerful metric. However, this could also completely undermine the greater mission by becoming the sole perspective on technology. If a technology has a bad quarter in terms of RFP dollars, it could then be devalued despite being necessary. The final part of this post looks at a kitchen sink approach. And that looks at things like breach avoidance, tool ROI, staff cost, and then contribution to revenue. And the idea is once you put all these together, you could come up with an equation that looks like this. A cost of a breach minus the total cost of tools plus the total staff costs plus contribution to revenue equals total security ROI. The idea here is to always get to a positive number, thus showing that the combination of tools, staff, and contribution to revenue always outweigh the cost of a breach. We hope you find this topic and post interesting. Thanks so much.